the end of the train there was a uh, class 180 from the former German Reichsbahn from the German Democratic Republic. Uh, now the owner from this locomotion is the Presnitztal Railway in Saxony. This locomotion were built in the 60s from locomotive building company Karl Marx in Potsdam, Babelsberg. So, this was the restaurant car from this train. It's uh, an, into the old paint from the German Reichsbahn and his restaurant company Mitropa. So now in the locomotion becomes here in the museum water. Loaded and the water swapped out. So here at the turntable number one is an another locomotion from the type 118 but uh, this is from the first series. Um, that's a four axle uh, locomotion with uh, two hundred uh, with uh, two one thousand horsepower engines. The um, other ones at the special trains has two engines with. 1200 uh, horsepower. That was the first series, and the German Reichsbahn built after the second series from this type six axle locomotions. So, and now I go into the roundhouse one and into the roundhouse two, and then I'm filming there. So here in the outside, um, there is a part from an old railway crane. This crane were built by Thomas Smith and Sons uh, in Leeds, that's in Great Britain. So this was uh, the train from the former German Empire. Um, the last one were Kaiser Wilhelm II 
and this was this train and some parts out of this uh, some parts from uh, inside the train and here in the museum is one of the wagons from this train so that was inside the wagon that's um, uh, the long way car with a bed and sleeping and here you can see an old when he's writing a letter in German is Tintenfass so and so sieht's im Wagen vom ehemaligen Kaiser aus Man ist ja immer noch dabei, den innen herzurichten und zu renovieren. So, das ist ein totally View von diesem Railcar. So, hier sind dann die Utopien und Gedanken zum Hochgeschwindigkeitsverkehr, die man sich schon Anfang des 19. Jahrhunderts gemacht hat. Und man fuhr ja 1903 zwischen Marienfelde, also dort, wo ich wohne, und äh, Zossen mit dem Versuchstriebwagen schon 203 km/h. So this is a uh, model rail from the former Berlin Anhalter Bahnhof and they had built this rail here into the museum and there you can see the original track plan from the station. So and here you can see some details from the fry tolls. And there behind some other trains. So this is the underground line. I'll show you that when I leave the museum. How it looks now, but this is a plan from the um, middle of the 30s, from the last century. And many buildings were uh, destroyed in World War II. So that was the front from the station building. But this um, station was uh, also destroyed in World War II and the rest were abandoned in the middle of the 50s. And the German Reichsbahn blows the rest of and uh, pick it away. Oh, this is an uh, old underground rail. This was the first class as the underground rail has here in Berlin. That's the class A1. And when they opened the underground line in Berlin, that's the first rail car they built um, in the beginning of the 1902. But wait. Yes, here you can see what it is from rail car. It's from A1 from uh, 1908.
So and this was uh, a mock-up from Berlin's new underground rail. That's the Type JK, and um, Berlin became 1,500 uh, rail cars from this. Uh, Serious and uh, for the other series for the um, small and um, big profile network and uh, well okay we go in well and uh, this series inside the rail car. So and here you can see the cap for the train driver. Well now I am standing here in front of the um, V200. That's a diesel locomotion um, from the Deutsche Bundesbahn, that's a state railway from the Federal Republic of Germany. And this is a pendant to the um, East German class 118 that you can see in the outside on the turntable there. And here you are, here you can see yeah, maybe some technical details. And this here is the loco and this here is the locomotion. Well here you can see um Rail cars from the Hamburg and from the Berlin subrail. Um, maybe I know. I hope that you can read it. And here are some technical details. So, and this is the old. Berlin S-Bahn car. They were built in the beginning of the uh, in the mid of the 30s for the Olympic Games in Berlin. So and these are the um, S-Bahn to Hamburg from Hamburg. Mm. They built these rail cars in the beginning of the May, I mean beginning of the 40s from the last century in the Hamburg. And this here is a view on the Hamburg S-Bahn car. That's the last paint that uh, this wagon had uh, when he was in service in Hamburg. And the last uh, ground check from this wagon was on uh, the 6th of December in 1996. Uh, So here stands an old uh, electrical locomotion from um, nineteen twenty two. That was the class uh, seventy one. 
The E stands for Electrica. So that's the Black History from the German Railway. Because uh, the German Railway was uh, part from the Holocaust in the Third Reich. And here you can see the concentration camps and the destroy, destroy camps. And you can see all the names. That's all camps who the dead was at home. So, and this is the class 52. That's uh, the German war locomotion. Here you can see this locomotion better, more So and this here was the class um, um, 01.10 that is a uh, three-cylinder locomotion and here are some technical details. See the English description. Uh, that was a uh, uh, streamlined locomotion I built in the beginning of the 40s. There inside, I hope that you can see, there is a third cylinder that was into the bar. And these are the big wheels. So I think you can see a um, train from the Lübeck Büchner Eisenbahn. That was a model of a uh, streamline um, train that was in the 30s an original um, private rail. The, the rail cars, uh, it's double uh, B-level cars. steam engine um, this locomotion was built in the 30s and uh, rebuilt by the 
East German um, Deutsche Reichsbahn. They became a new boiler. Um, and this locomotion is oil burnt, not with coal. Um, but wait, there is more. So this in the background, this is that house um, that you can see in the model rail where the underground drives um, into the house and out of the house. Um, this building were destroyed in World War II and in the 70s and the 80s they um, built new houses um, uh, on the left and on the right side from uh, the underground bridge but uh, they don't uh, build the house over the underhouse track and there comes another train where you can see it's much better That's the underground line that goes to Warschauer Straße. And there, on the top of the um, building, you see an um, DC-3 um, from the European Air Service, from the US Air Force. Um, this is one of the original um, uh, food bombers um, that bring one year food to West Berlin when the Russians had from 1948 to 1949 blocked uh, the West Berlins and they carried over one million tons uh, food, coal and other things to the uh, three West Allee uh, sectors but to Tempelhof Airport, to Gato Airport and to uh, Tegel Airport. All the three airports were closed. In Gato is the German Air Force Museum. Tempelhof is now a park and the uh, airport in Tegel is closed uh, when they had opened Berlin-Brandenburg International Airport. So that was it from me. Bye-bye.